Welcome everyone. Today's session is on creating a cloud management gateway in Microsoft Azure. My name is Wayne Reed and I'm an Azure Certified Solution Architect. So what is the cloud management gateway? Well, from Config Manager current branch version 16.10, Microsoft introduced a new site system role called the cloud management gateway. It's basically a simple way to manage clients on the internet. It's a config manager site system that's deployed to Microsoft Azure. So internet-based clients access the config manager securely using SSL authentication and encryption. So how does it work then? So you use the config manager console to deploy the service to Microsoft Azure. You then add a connector point to config manager and then you configure the site system to allow cloud management gateway traffic. Okay, so um, what's supported with the cloud management gateway? So at the moment, as it stands, um, there are only two config manager site systems that are supported that include the management point and the software update point. If you have internet-based clients that require software, then it's required that you introduce a cloud distribution point. Each instance of the cloud management gateway supports up to 4,000 clients. And if there is a requirement to include high availability, then it is possible to deploy multiple cloud management gateways. Let's talk about the requirements. What do I need? Config Manager running a cloud management gateway connector point. So as mentioned earlier, in order to connect your SECM environment to Microsoft Azure, you need to deploy a cloud management gateway connector point. You also need an Azure subscription because obviously if you're connecting to Azure, then you need to have a subscription to Azure. And finally, and most importantly, to ensure that authentication and encryption between your various services, between your clients to the config manager environment and from your config manager environment to um, Microsoft Azure, you'll need to use certificates, the dreaded certificates. So of the certificates, we need the management we need a management certificate to authenticate to Config Manager with um, Azure. We need a client certificate to authenticate clients to the SECM, or sorry, the Config Manager environment. And you also need a web service certificate, which ideally matches the public domain of your company. Cost. So there is a cost. An additional cost when you use the cloud management gateway service because essentially it's a cloud service so when you deploy a cloud management gateway you're actually in the background leveraging the Microsoft services which will deploy um, and as your virtual machine the equivalent size of um, a standard a2 VM so if we by default only one, um, one virtual machine is deployed and one virtual machine supports up to 2,000 simultaneous internet-based connections. That's approximately 100 megabytes per, per client per month if each client does a policy refresh um, every hour. So from my knowledge, as it stands today, the cost would range from anything between £115 to £150 per month, depending on what region um, the cloud management gateway gets deployed in. Check out my part two video to see how to actually install and configure the cloud management gateway for SECM current branch 1702.